Welcome back guys, this is Campy, and in the last clip we got bonked in the head by the guy with the hammer and then we found our way back into the other world. Padlock, take it off to open up the generator to power, oh wait, three, son of a bitch, three, three, eight, three, eight, four, yeah. That's pretty, um, yeah, that's pretty creative. Three, eight, four. I like that. Three, eight, four. Yeah. All right, shout out me. Small hole on the side of the panel. The lever's missing. Can I shove this in there? Oh, yeah. Operate. Wow. The F. It's broken. It looks a bit different different than the others. What's a scary sound? Hmm. There's a noise coming from above, but I can't see what what's making it. I seen this machine before when I first visited this wicked world of the dead. Back then it was my blood that turned it on. Take a lever. All right, this is scary. I don't want to be like messed up by the machine. Whoa. Oh, I see. I'd be slicing up my alternate version of me. Oh, wait a second. I think I know what's going on.
No, 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 no. I got this. I got this. It's all coming together. This is kind of a sick thing to do, but I want to progress through the game. <laughs> All right, this could be nasty. my alternate self. How messed up is that? Is that a figurative? Oh, she's back! Yeah, don't be mad at me. like her old self and then that's and then she's now her new stronger self goodbye other world What the hell? The pressure is squeezing this elevator. Oh damn. It's gonna have an episode. It's freaking out! What the hell? This game is so weird. Is that What's on them? You behind my back, Mitzi. Miss Ashworth. I thought I thought you were dead. I saw that man hit you right in the head. Me? Dead? No. No. I'm a tough old girl. You can't kill me that easily. Stop asking stupid questions. We have no time for that. You skip what you Let's said. calm do down, that. yeah? Yeah. Okay. I could do that. What the hell What's is she wearing? This? Duct tape. Yeah, he had loads of that stuff. Maybe we can break this tape if we pull really hard. It won't hurt to try. It's pointless. We're completely wrapped in this damn tape. We're cocoons, stuck in a web, waiting to be eaten. But where's the spider? He's gonna play with us first, isn't he? Pull yourself together, and stop talking shit. I can't think properly. Did he hurt you? That bastard packs a hell of a punch. I've got a bit of a headache, but I think I'm alright. 
What about you, Mrs. A? Me? Fresh as a daisy. But I'll feel better after we've dealt with this unpleasant guest of ours. Do you think he's going to... rape us? No, he is not. Don't worry. I'll figure something out. Let's just wait for him to come back. Sooner or later, they always make a mistake. Miss A, I'm sorry I had upset you. I shouldn't have pushed you so hard. And I'm sorry about the mug, too. It's all right. Water under the bridge. How about those lockpicks that you always carry with you? You know, the ones you got from your dad and used to break into this place? But we aren't locked in a room, are we? We're wrapped in duct tape in case you forgot. How is a lockpick going to help here? I don't know. It's probably sharp. You could use it to cut this tape. Well, even if that was the case, I can't reach it anyway. So let's forget the lockpicks and think of something else, all right? All right, all right. Let's use this sharp knife to you cut this. You got a sharp knife the whole time? What? You've got a knife? Yeah, but I'm sorry. I just remembered I can't reach it. So let's forget the knife and think of something else, yeah? Hmm. Oh, you are a nasty piece of work, Miss A. I really believed you had a knife. You shouldn't joke about it, you know. It's cruel. It wasn't a joke. I lied to you. And you lied about the lockpicks, didn't you? You don't really have them. Who are you to call me a liar? I can't reach the damn lockpicks. It's the truth. Really? Yes. But clearly my word isn't enough. Why you know what? Fighting I'll show you in this right silver. now. If we're not chopped into little pieces, packed in plastic shopping bags and dumped in the trash, that is. Maybe it won't come to that. He might just throw our bodies in the river or bury them in the woods. Maybe there won't be any shopping. Always an optimist. So, any ideas? Not that many, really. None at all, actually. I'm sorry. And you? What do you think we should do? We should kill the fucker. With what? We're tied up. Are you going to headbutt him to death? I will, if there's no other way. Come on, there's got to be something more sensible we can do. I'm not gonna die here. Not like this. Maybe together we can pull this pipe off the wall? How is that exactly going to help us? Stop asking stupid questions and pull with me. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking wetting the tape. Great, that's just what we needed. A cold shower. I used to like flowers, you know. Like everyone else. Or even more. There was this guy. I should have told him from the start I wasn't interested. But I didn't. Maybe I was interested. In a way. Make Probably. up your mind, women. Flattered would be a better word. It was ten years ago. I can hardly even remember him now. He did that thing every week. Why because he knew Eric was at now? work. And I was in the flat, alone. So, every Friday night, I'd get flowers delivered by a courier. Who's Eric? Your partner? My husband. He was a taxi driver. Worked every weekend. And I was still on maternity leave. Zoe, our little daughter, was only six months old at the time. Well, five months and twenty-eight days exactly. She would be eleven now. Anyway, that one Friday evening's courier had delivered a big bouquet of the most beautiful lilies. Usually. Thanks for watching guys, and if you enjoy watching this video, please subscribe to my channel and share this video. And I will see you in the next clip.